Hello, my name is Walker Pendleton, and I'm from the Department of Math, Computer Science, and Physics from Albany State University. My faculty mentor is Dr. Arun Saha, and my topic is Innovative Method to Design a Microwave Absorber. What is a microwave absorber? A microwave absorber is a fabricated with a single or multi-layer dielectric materials covered by, by a metal plane on one side and while the other is exposed to free space absor to absorb a particular microwave signal. When you have good evidence, your incoming signal loses energy as it goes to the metal plane and as it reflects off the metal plane, it continues to lose energy as no, then no signal returns through the material. An abstract, a microwave absorber is designed with a given absorbing material whose relative permeability or epsilon r and permeability are known. Impedance matching between an absorber and free space is achieved by a circular metal patches of pre-designed shape printed periodically on absorber material. Design microwave absorber along with pre-designed metal strip is modeled in a 3D electromagnetic simulation or a VSS. Simulated frequency response of a reflection coefficient verifies impedance matching and absorption at a designed frequency. Motivation of research. In previous CUR research, symmetric structure of a composite material was used in absorber design as shown in the figure below. And C, we're using two printed circuit boards in this case. But because of the cost of printed circuit boards, or PCB, is expensive, 600 per sheet, in this research, an effort was given to design an absorber with one sheet of printed circuit board, as shown in the figure below. Innovation in research. Impedance matching between free space and absorber depends on your material parameter, or epsilon r, depends on charge polarization under electric field, and also depends on charge from polarization of atoms, which is your natural phenomenon, and charge polarization from added metal inclusions, which is innovation. As seen in the figure, you have your elect electric field that's going through the passing through the material, and you have your electrons in green. Your electrons, you're both your protons and neut and electrons separating from each other. And then you also have the innovation which, in the, the metal in this case, it is separating the protons and neutrons. Polarization equals natural phenomenon, which is QD in the green, plus your innovation, which is in the pink. Bigger, the, more po the bigger the polarization, the bigger the epsilon r. The simulation setup. So we, first we have the printed circuit board, or PCB, and then you have the metal patch. And you'll, then you have the absorber material. Our setup for the first box is 8.2 millimeters in height, and our width is 8.2 millimeter. For the PCB on epoxy, which epsilon r equals 4.4, 4.4, your measurement here is 0.7874 millimeters. And then we have the metal patch, which varies in, in radius. Then you have the absorber material, MT24, which is 3.175 millimeters. Development of the design curve. Numerous simulations were conducted with different values of metal patch radius. Simulation frequency response of the reflection coefficients were shown below. As you see, we have our gigahertz and our dB. As you see in the graph, from me zero metal patch, it goes from no metal patch to 3.8 millimeters. 2.4 is the best impedance matching. And further, in the further development of our design curve, which we have our radius of metal patch, and then we have our gigahertz. To achieve 10 gigahertz that we designed the absorber to take in, as it shows in the graph, we need a 2.26 millimeter in our in our metal patch to achieve 10 gigahertz. Performance evaluation of a design absorber. So, since we found out 
that our metal patch radius needs to be 2.26, our absorbent material M224, epsilon r, is 1.69, and a loss factor of 1 of 1.622. And our PCB on epoxy epsilon r is 4.4. As you see in the graph, Design absorbent frequency of 10 gigahertz occurs when the radius of metal of the metal patch is 2.26, as seen here with dB. In conclusion, a microwave absorber with artificial materials successfully designed and evaluated, the dielectric constant of existing material can be engineered for absorption of any desired frequency. An inclusion of metal patches push the absorption frequency to a lower value. A fabrication of absorber is underway. I would like to acknowledge the National Science Foundation and thank you for your attention.